Okay, this is my teleprinter. It's a Siemens 100A. It's a real beauty. I got it two weeks ago. Uh, it has been about 40 years or so in somewhere, who knows where. And it actually works. I know this is a mess. I have to tidy everything. However, I was extremely hurried to get the thing working as soon as I got the transformer for my current source. As you can see, it's extremely, extremely, uh, well, a whole mess. And well, now it's been five minutes since the first page I printed, so I'm going to turn things on. First, Let's go with the teleprinter. This is the usual sound that makes when it has no power source for the signal. So I'm going to turn on the current source and now it's a lot quiet. Things are ready to start printing. So let's go over this. Okay, first letter. Oh. And the thing is working. This is the first step. First thing that I notice, and that is really difficult to get used to, is that you have the line feed and the carrier's return on different keys. So you have to go with the line feed and the car is returned. Another thing is that you have one key for the numbers and figures and another key for the letters. So, every time you want to go with one letter, um, sorry, with one number or with a point or whatever, you have to remember to uh, switch to the figures. Also, when you are done with that, you have to remember to go back to the letters. So, for example, today is the figure 15 letters of the what? Uh, April. Oh, I don't have the P letter. Okay, line feed, carrier return. Another curiosity is that you have the um, the identification of the um, machine inside the little drum over there. So that can be requested by the by the remote party or you can print it locally. For example, I'll print it locally. You will see the little drum. I'm going to push this little button and the drum will move letter by letter and send information. And obviously print it here too because it's wiring in that way. So there you go. And you will see, I'm not sure if you will see this thing, that, no, not a good luck here. Okay, this is 21413, I guess it was the telex number, followed by some letters which I really have no idea what they mean. So, in other words, I do not know where this machine came from. And well, it's a lot dirty, I still have to clean things, but I was really excited. The next step is going to be to try with the paper tape to see if things work or not. But that's going to be on another video. Regards!